Hey everybody, this is Steve Riley. I'm here with my sons, Burke Riley and Dozy Riley. These guys have been playing music pretty much since the time they could walk. They grew up in a house filled with Cajun music and Cajun instruments. So uh, for a while now, we've been performing as the Riley Family Band. And the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress has invited us to perform at their 2020 virtual homegrown concert series. So we're honored to be with you here today as part of that. Instead of being in DC, we're here at our home in Scott, Louisiana. The American Folklife Center will release a concert every Wednesday at noon Eastern time from now through September 30th. Each artist will be with you in the chat section to answer questions. So make sure you say, hey, leave some comments, ask any questions you have. After each concert is released, you can find the video at the library's website or on their YouTube channel. Thanks for listening to the Riley Family Band and make sure to check out the American Folklife Center's website where you can find lots of amazing sound recordings online to explore at www.loc.gov slash folklife. First song we're gonna do today is a two-step called Petito La Gros, the little one or the big one. <laughs> We're gonna do a pretty Cajun waltz for you now. This is one called The Good Life, La Vie est Belle, La Vie est Bonne. And the words to this song say, I wake up just before daybreak and I hear the birds singing. And in their own language, they say, life is beautiful and life is good. And while I'm working in the garden, I see the plants pushing up from the ground. In their own language, they say, life is beautiful, life is good. At night in my home, at the dining room table, I'm surrounded by my beautiful family. And in their own language, they say, life is beautiful, life is good. I go outside and I look up into the sky and I see all the stars. And in their own language, they say, life is beautiful, life is good. <laughs> Ça dit c'est dans le langage, ça vit 
step for you. This is one called Jeteo Balliado Soi. That means I went to the dance last night. I'm going again tonight and God willing, I'm going again tomorrow night. Go ahead, don't say it.
before we do this next song, we want to let y'all know that we do virtual concerts like this from our home every other Sunday. And the next one will be June 28th at 4 p.m. Central. Uh, it's live on my Facebook page, so tune in if you can. And uh, this next song is dedicated to all the folks who've ever been to Louisiana to celebrate Mardi Gras. We uh, celebrate it here in the small towns like Mamou and Eunice. And this next song is called La Danse de Mardi Gras. And it's a story about what happens in those small towns where we get dressed up, get on horseback, ride out into the countryside, dance in our saddles, chase chickens, eat gumbo, and have a great time dancing to this next song right here. Y'all like Mardi Gras? Yeah! All right, let's give them a taste of it right now. For this last song, we're going to change it up, and Burke and I are going to play guitars for you. Uh, this is a tune called Freetown, a song that I wrote, and uh, I was just messing around with the guitar, came up with the riff, and at the same time, I was reading about the history of the Freetown neighborhood in Lafayette. Uh, years ago, Governor Alexander Mouton had an estate there, and uh, before the Civil War, he freed his slaves and allowed them to work for their own land and uh, their own money, and uh, people heard about what was going on there and came from everywhere. Um, other slaves uh, ran away and came to Freetown, Spanish, Irish, and uh, a lot of folks. There's an amazing history of freedom right here in Lafayette, Louisiana, in the Freetown neighborhood. So here you go, everybody. Here's the freedom. You ready? <laughs>
I'm Steve Riley. As part of my homegrown performance, I'm taking the Archive Challenge and recording a song that was collected by John and Alan Lomax in 1934 from the Segura Brothers right here in South Louisiana, a well-known Cajun song called Jolie Blonde, also known as La Fille de la Veuve. I am going to uh, play that song on a 100-year-old Cajun accordion, Sterling accordion from the 1920s, and a uh, perfect instrument for this old recording. It uh, has a few quirks and, and whistles, but it's uh, great to have it with us still. And uh, you can find this field recording at the American Folk Life Center at the Library of Congress. And here's my version of Julie Blonde, La Fille de la Veuve. <laughs> Chan, be lover. 